Hey, what's up? This is Aaron from AaronsGuitarLessons.com, and I'm going to show you how to play Neon by John Mayer. There's some really cool licks in this song. I'm going to break it down by the verse, the pre-chorus, the chorus, and the bridge. I'm going to show you the chord progression for each part of the song and show you how to play those chords and then show you what he's doing with his rhythm hand, what he's doing with his thumb, his fingers, and all the hits and everything. So I'm going to break it down for you and show you a broke down version of Neon by John Mayer. So first of all, tune your top E string down to a low C. Okay, so standard tuning, um, all the other strings except for your, your low E string is going to be a C. Alright, so I'm going to start with the verse chord progression. I'm going to run through the chords with you and then I'm going to show you um, how to use these chords. Alright, we're going to start this entire song out with a C suspended 4. The way we're going to do this is by playing the top string open, then nothing on the 5th string, nothing on the 4th string, then 10th fret, 8th fret, and nothing on the 1st string. Alright, so moving down to an E flat 2, second chord in the verse, we have first finger on the 3rd fret top string, nothing on the 5th uh, string, then 3rd fret, 3rd fret, 4th fret, and nothing. So again, that's 3, mute, 3, 3, 4, mute, E flat 2. Then we're going to move to an E flat suspended 4 over F. The way we're going to play this is by playing 5 with our 3rd finger on top, mute, 6 with our 4th finger, 3 with our 1st finger, 4 with our 2nd finger, and mute the 1st string. So again, that's 5, mute, 6, 3, 4, mute. Alright, then we're moving up to the 8th fret. Like the E flat 2, we have an A flat 2 now. Starting on the 8th fret with our top finger, 8, mute, 8, 8, 9, mute, A flat 2. Then, like the E flat suspended 4 over F, we have an, a C2 over B flat, sorry, C2 over B flat. And we're going to play this by third finger on the top string, 10, mute, 10, 7 with our first finger, and then 8 with our second finger. So again, Alright, so now I'm going to play all those chords in order for you by playing the verse. I'm going to do all the rhythm and everything in the verse, the way it's played, and then I'm going to show you a close-up of my rhythm hand and show you what I'm doing and try to put it all together. Alright, so all these chords are going to be played the same way with your rhythm hand. You're going to play your thumb on the top string. It's always going to control that string. Your first finger is going to control the fourth string. Moving down, your second finger is going to control the next one, and your third finger on the next one. So we have thumb, skip, one, two, three, and then nothing on the first string. So again, that's thumb, skip, one, two, three. That's where your thumb goes. This is a classical guitar playing position. Thumb, one, two, three. Okay, so string six, four, three, and two. And all these chords will be voiced that way. All right, so my thumb is doing a pretty good uh, rhythmic thing here. I'm starting out. So what I'm doing here with my thumb is. Kind of like a cool little bass line actually, but that's the rhythm that my thumb's doing. Boom, 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 boom. With the root notes to every chord. So what my other fingers are doing, I'm starting out with my thumb, bum, 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 bum. But my other fingers going, so I'm going thumb, one, two, three, two. On every chord, thumb, one, two, three, two. All right, and the, set, the last two chords are a little bit faster. Okay, so you're gonna play them pretty pretty quick. Thumb one two three real fast. Mm -hmm. 
So a good thing to do if you want to practice this verse rhythm is just practice without playing anything. Just hold the strings with your, your left hand or your, your chord hand, um, depending if you play left-handed. Um, but just hold the strings down, or don't hold them down, just touch them, and then practice that rhythm part. Just thumb, thumb, one, two, three, two. All right, moving on to the pre-course, we have an F suspended four over A flat. And the rhythm here, he kind of just plays the chord. Any rhythm you want to. If you can get the verse down, you can definitely get the pre-chords down. And so just play the chord. Then take your third finger and move it down to a G, so it's F suspended four over G now. All right, then move this down to an E suspended four, E flat suspended four over G flat. Okay, so we have pretty much the same um, chording system. We have A flat, G, okay, F suspended 4 over A flat and G. Then move it down to your E flat suspended 4 over G flat. Okay, so that position is 8, mute, 8, 5, and 6. Then move it, your third finger down to 7 second chord then the last chord the E flat suspended 4 over G flat will be 6 mute 6 3 4 mute all right and the second time he does the pre-chorus I'm gonna play the same chord progression All right, but you're going to change it to an E flat suspended four. Okay, we're going to walk it up right before the course. We have E flat suspended four, and it's going to be a five mute six three four mute to an F suspended four over G. It's the same exact chord. We're just going to move it up a whole step to seven mute eight five six mute. All right, so the chords for the chorus. Neon, neon. When he sings this chorus part, it's the E flat suspended four, five mute, six, three, four mute, to the F suspended four over G. Same thing, just a whole step higher. Seven mute, eight, five, six mute. All right, then to a uh, E flat over C, actually. You can play the top string open. Then mute out the fifth string and play five, three, four, mute. And it does that chord progression. All right, then the last time. It goes all the way up here after the uh, E flat over C. goes to a B flat two, which is 10, mute. 10, 10, 11, down to an A flat 2, which is A mute, 8, 8, 9. Alright, so I know this song is confusing, but thanks for hanging with me and uh, trying to learn this song. I know it's pretty tough. But uh, the last chord progression we're going to talk about is the bridge chord progression, and it's pretty simple. We have uh, the same uh, chord shape for all four of these next chords, so it's pretty simple to move up the neck. We have an A flat over F, and you're going to take your thumb and wrap it over on the top fret, fifth fret. So it's going to be five, mute, six, five, four. They're going to move that up to a B flat over G. Just a whole step up, or two frets. They're going to move it up to a B over A flat, half step up. Then a D flat over B flat, whole step up. Okay, so simple as that. That's the uh, bridge chord progression. He plays it slow one time, then he does it half time. And uh, that's all the chords to the song. And the hardest part is really the verse anyway. So uh, good luck on the verse, and I hope this helped.